you shouldn't take vitamin D at night because vitamin D is from the sun and anything from the sun at night is gonna make your body think that it's daytime. So then you're not gonna be able to fall asleep because your body's gonna be confused because it thinks it got sunlight. That is interesting and I appreciate when people think like that, but that's actually not the case. I'm gonna teach you how to use vitamin D to improve your sleep by taking it at the right time. You see, when we get vitamin D from the sun, it takes a while to synthesize and go through its conversion processes in the body before it's actually legitimate vitamin D3 that can be used. So although that argument is really cool, and I always tell people that is a great way of thinking because actually applying things the way that they should. So that's a great thing that people are thinking like that. But it goes deeper than that. We have to understand some mechanisms. So I'll teach you how that works. I put a 30% off discount link right below this video for Thrive Market. So your entire grocery order would be 30% off. So Thrive Market is an online grocery store. They have been a sponsor on this channel for going on six years now. And what that link will do is it'll allow you to get 30% off your entire group of groceries that you get, whether it's frozen meat and seafood, whether it is pantry staples, whether it is crackers, whether it is sweeteners, whatever it is you wanna get, Thrive Market is all about not having processed garbage, having better for you options, and making it really fast when it comes down to delivery. So you get stuff within a couple of days. So you don't have to run into your neighbors at the grocery store, it's just really cool. But that link is very exclusive for my channel. So 30% off and you get a free $50 gift when you use that link as well. So that link right below this video. So in order to understand vitamin D's effect on our sleep, we look at one study that in particular was looking at fatty fish consumption compared to chicken or other meats. And they found that when people consumed fatty fish, but not any other meat in the same amounts, they fell asleep faster. And this is really interesting because the protein values were the same, a lot of things were the same, even antioxidant values, the rest of the diet, it was just this one intervention. And this got researchers thinking, okay, we need to investigate this kind of stuff more. So personally, I looked at other research, I'm like, this is intriguing because so many people think vitamin D is going to impede your sleep, but it actually is the opposite. So vitamin D is absolutely critical at a transcription factor level for tryptophan hydroxylase II. Now this tryptophan hydroxylase II is an enzyme. This enzyme is required for the synthesis of serotonin from tryptophan. What does this all have to do with vitamin D? So when vitamin D activates at a transcription factor level, that means at a very genetic level, it is triggering sort of this hierarchy of needs in as far as our genes and our DNA is concerned. And it says at a DNA level, hey, produce more of this enzyme. So if we did not produce this tryptophan hydroxylase II, we would not be able to convert tryptophan from protein that we eat into serotonin. If we never converted it into serotonin, we would never be able to convert that into melatonin and we would never sleep. So vitamin D is literally very important. You could even go so far as saying it's almost a rate limiting step because without it, you wouldn't be producing the enzyme that's required. And this happens quite fast. So taking vitamin D at night should not impact your sleep. And if you look at subjects that take vitamin D, you usually don't have that problem. But I have an additional thing for you because there's more than just vitamin D in fish. There's also high amounts of omega-3. And what's wild is if you take vitamin D with omega-3, you might be able to counter any potential negative, right? The omega-3s, particularly eicosapentaenoic acid in this case, are going to reduce prostaglandin E2. Prostaglandin E2 is very inflammatory, right? It's not bad, we actually need it, but if it's elevated, it's gonna be elevated in our brain, and that's going to affect neurotransmitter release. That's going to affect the ability for our brain to synthesize and ultimately release neurotransmitters that affect our sleep and our level of calmness and everything. So the omega-3s reduce these prostaglandins that modulate inflammation. There are lots of bodies of research that associate omega-3s with inflammation. So I'm not making a leap there. So with this modulation of brain inflammation, along with vitamin D as being this important piece for overall serotonin production, that's how it can help you sleep. But then there's even other components that you can kind of take into the mix. You see, tryptophan and magnesium are really important. So tryptophan you should be getting from your protein. But what I would suggest in this particular case is if you're taking vitamin D, take it about three hours before bed and ideally take it alongside omega-3s. And even better, if you know my channel, you know I am a cod liver oil fan. 
So I would recommend taking cod liver oil because you get your vitamin D, you get your omega-3s, and you also get your vitamin A and what are called pro-resolving mediators. All of these work together in harmony for the immune system and ultimately even for sleep. So still with cod liver oil, I recommend taking it a few hours before bed because again, if you take four or five soft gels, that's gonna be you know, 80 to 100 calories still. So take it with your meal, you're gonna get better absorption by taking it with some fats and with a meal anyway. And then when it comes down to adding magnesium into the mix, about four or 500 milligrams of magnesium can help you sleep because it's going to help with what is called NMDA receptors and help calm you down that way. So it's like this perfect marriage of omega-3s, of vitamin D and magnesium for really good sleep. And they all have synergy together in terms of how they work within the body as well. So taking a synthetic vitamin D, it's not gonna hurt you, but I recommend trying to get full spectrum look at things where you're looking at a whole food form because maybe synthetic vitamin D is such a heavy concentration of vitamin D that you are disrupting some pathways and it's impacting your sleep but it would be better to opt for a more bioavailable form, in which case you can take it at night and it may help you sleep. So kind of have to weigh it out for yourself. Otherwise, take regular vitamin D midday. I don't think it's gonna hurt you to take it at night, but studies are demonstrating that midday might be the best time to take regular synthetic vitamin D if you're taking straight up D. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel. We'll see you tomorrow.